What's good? It's your boy Sheen. Who's your redemption? And we are jumping into a movie that was recommended by a lot of you guys. So we had to throw it on the schedule. Shaw Shank Redemption. Heard a lot of good things about this. So we are excited to jump in and finally see what all the hype is about. Make sure if you guys want to get some exclusive content and jump a couple uh, weeks ahead in content from the YouTube side, head over to the Patreon. Check the Patreon out. You guys have a grand time over there so make sure you're so make sure you you hit that link you head over there you check it out and you sub up if you see what you like we'll also drop a link for our merch so my man got the team black so if you haven't watched the house of the dragon reactions have uh, head over there first grab some merch so you can rep your team and then watch our reaction to that without further ado let's jump into the saw shank redemption let's get it i watched like we watched this in high school, senior year, but I missed the second day. So I only watched like 45 minutes of the show. We had like three days we were watching it. That's the only thing I know because Meek Mill said it in the song, Richest Man in Prison. Sean Shane Redemption. Mr. Dufresne got that Walter White on him. She said she was glad I knew that she hated all the sneaking around. She said Yo! she wanted a divorce. Grimo! I'll see you in hell before I see you in Reno. Those were the words you used, Mr. Dufresne, according to the testimony of your neighbors. Glenn Quinton, <laughs> golf pro at the Snowden Hills Country Club. The man you had recently discovered was your wife's lover. Yeah. No, they both got to go. Well, mm. what's white? Drove to his house to confront them. They weren't home, so I parked in the turnout and waited. The you know what the attention was. When they arrived, you went up to the house and murdered them. No. He's crazy. I was sobering up. Along the way, I stopped and I threw my gun into the Royal River. I feel I've been very clear on this point. Hey, bro, come on. I don't even sound convincing. But if it is the truth, though. It could be. Since I am innocent of this crime, sir, I find it decidedly inconvenient that the gun was never found. What if he didn't do it, though? Maybe Bull had a shorty, and the shorty came to do him, man. He's a golf pro. You know he had a shorty on rotation. Yeah, I was about to say. Like, come on, bro. Let me real. We have the accused at the scene of the crime. We have footprints, tire tracks. We have bullets on, strewn on the ground. That. I see he did that, John. That boy got out the car with it. They had sinned. Now, he but might have did it. crime so great as to merit a death sentence? Not six shots fired, but eight. That means... He fired the gun empty. And reloaded. But we saw he just dropped all his bullets, bullets on the floor. You strike me as a particularly it could have been a housemaid. Man, Mr. If he was doing stuff with the housemaid too. I hereby order you to serve two life sentences back to back. Yeah. One for each of your victims. Oh boy got sentenced to life and life again after he died. So they just leave your body in that motherfucker? Find your soul. Boy Morgan. You feel you've been rehabilitated? Oh, yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. I can honestly say that I'm a changed man. I'm no longer a danger to society. That's God's honest truth. Damn. Man. He served 20 years, and he was that young. How the fuck he that old when he went to? I'm up for rejection next week. Yeah, I'm up for yeah, rejection next week. There must be a con like me in every prison in America. I'm the guy who can get it for you. So when Andrew Dufresne came in. to me in 1949 and asked me to smuggle Rita Hayworth into the prison for him, I told him, no problem. So they don't want to entertain me again. Watching new people come in. Murdering his wife and the fella she was banging. On the outside, he'd been vice president of a large Portland bank. We got that pep in the step still. Oh, nah. I'm getting it on first steps in there. Talking about hey, me. Ain't that now. You seen that clip I ain't of the ball? Ain't me for nobody. Eight from the front. He'll be first. Oh bullshit! I'll take that action. Yeah, me too. You're out some smoke, son. Let me tell you, fifth one from the front. Put me down for quarter deck. Oh yeah, but he shook. I must admit, I didn't think much of Andy the first time I laid eyes on him. What do you say, Red? A tall drink of water with a silver spoon up his ass. Ten cigarettes. That's a rich bet. All right, who's gonna prove me wrong? 
really betting on that that they had cry first or something. Nah, it's different if you really did a crime. But if you didn't if do you it. If you didn't do it. Nah, nah. I'm crying the whole time I'm on the bus. I don't care anyway, so. I'm bracing hell. Mr. Hadley, he's captain of the guards. I'm Mr. Norton, the warden. You are convicted felons. Rule number one, no blasphemy. The other rules, you'll figure out as you go along. Ain't no more rules. When do we eat? You eat when we say you eat. You shit when we say you shit, and you piss when we say you piss. You got that, you maggot dick motherfucker? Ooh. Oh, he asked any other question. He asked a question. Put your trust in the Lord. Your ass belongs to me. Hell, pause. But how are you going to force that on me, though? That's you prison. You can force anything on anybody. You're going to force the Lord on me. Right, right. Right. Left. You get to walk into the Left. jail the butt ass naked. No, that's no crazy. doubt about it. And when they put you in that cell, when those bars slam home, yeah, real. that's when you know it's for real. Yeah. But you not getting out. But they got you walking past the other inmates butt ass naked. They say you up. <laughs> Somebody always breaks down crying. Happens every time. Okay, so I'm guessing that's what they was betting on. Who's it gonna be? I remember my first night. Seems like a long time ago. Yes, it's crazy. Poke your ass out, give me a first look! <laughs> Yo! Know you're there, I can hear you breathing. But that's like demons. Don't you listen to these nitwits, you hear me? And he's trying to keep his money. I don't belong here! We have a winner! <laughs> we'll have to go home! Crisis is happy horse shit. He took the Lord's name in vain. I'm telling the Lord. You'll be telling him with my baton up your ass. Yo, they in there ratting. Bit of a mistake. You don't understand. I'm not supposed to be here. Open that cell. About to whoop his ass. About to beat him. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Bitch. Ooh. Damn. 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 Ooh. I'll drag him back in the cell. He's cooked. Whoa, where though? All the trustees take that tub of shit down to the infirmary. First night. And then if you work here, you see that shit. If you for if this is your first day and you first night you see that you like, I can do the same shit, or you like, yeah, they tripping in here. He never made a sound. You don't know no routine. Boy, fall right in line. No cap. In there. What you mean? It's what the schools prepare you for. He tall as shit. Yo, no cap. S single yeah. file line. Don't step out of line. Use the bathroom. We say you can use the bathroom. That shit used to get on my nerves. And I got a shit, nigga. <laughs> mate, <laughs> mate. Shit on your floor. Fuck is this? Maggie. Oh my fucking god. Nah. Are you, are you going to? Uh, that's nice and ripe. He had a bird in his pocket. Come on, set him down. I want them all lined up here, just like a, a pretty little chorus line. Oh, Lord. Can't stand him. Yes. Richmond, Virginia. Smell my ass. <laughs> <laughs> How's that horse of mine doing anyway? Did? Hadley busted his head up pretty good. Doc had already gone home for the night. Poor bastard laid there till this morning. He died? This cat. I was just wondering if anyone knew his name. The fuck do you care, new fish? Doesn't fucking matter what his name was. He's dead. Damn, he's starting. He like, damn, that's how it is in here. Bro, it's first night. Imagine if he really wasn't supposed to be there, though. Imagine his family, though. Anybody get to you yet? What's up, playing, man? I'm not here for fucking friends. Head, I could be a friend to you. Hard to get. I like that. Yeah, I can't hey, play bro, no role like that. It wasn't until a month went by that he finally opened his mouth to say more than two words to somebody. Where the fuck you get fucking baseball gloves? They got them John sent out for you. Wife killing banker. Why'd you do it? I didn't, since you asked. Everybody in here is innocent. You know that? 
Hey, what you in here for? Didn't do it. Lawyer fucked me. Now he did it. I understand you're a man that knows how to get things. I'm known to locate certain things from time to time. Now, boy might have did it. He a little scared. A rock hammer. What is it and why? What do you care? Yo. Rock hammer is about six or seven inches long. Looks like a miniature pickaxe. Pickaxe? For rocks. Since that was in my old life, I'd like to be again on a limited basis. Or maybe you'd like to sink your toe into somebody's skull. No, sir. No, I have no enemies here. Wait a while. Right. You met one in the bathroom. Sisters have taken quite a liking to you. I don't suppose it would help any if I explained to them I'm not homosexual. Neither are they. They have to be human first. They don't qualify. You should they not even human. Pull queers, take by force. That's all they want or understand. If I were you, I'd grow eyes in the back of my head. My normal markup's 20%. This is a specialty item. Risk goes up, price goes up. Making it even 10 bucks. 10 it is. $10? I got that for you right now, my boy. Name's Red. Red. Why do they call you that? Maybe it's because I'm Irish. When I tweak it, all I see is red. That's what I'm saying. He had a quiet way about him. A walk and a talk that just wasn't normal around here. The boy acting like he don't even care he in there and he innocent. Move it! Cut! Move it! We got my man Rock Hammer in there. So easiest to finesse something in there. Red. Man, he gave him two packs. I need them bogeys. No boy read the finesse, man. It's like a finesse, man. And it was right. It would take a man about 600 years to tunnel under the wall with one of these. Bruxy. Mm, delivery for Dufresne. Bro, he got all the smokes. Like, bro. Fuck well, he been. Fuck is he 7 Eleven? What you mean? he been in there for always 20 open. years and he said he that guy. So. He always open. Just let me know what you want. Hey, Bart. Everybody doing a deal in there. Thanks. Why did he ask for a rock hammer, though? We're running low on x Get on back, patch us up some. So, ain't that worth it? Yo, he don't even turn around to look at people. Boy, just keep it moving. Nah, he did it. Where he at? And he did it. Why that boy is so mad? Nah, he's just different. Boy, that boy about to be in here. I knew it. Yo, fuck out of here, weird boy. It's not just him. I know there's somebody else. Uh, uh. So this what y'all doing, y'all spirit time? No! Oh, no. Nah, fight, fighting for fight my for your life. life in that John. Fighting for your life. Fight for your life. They try to pose him up. You fight better that way. Come we got? on. Come on. Yeah, it's, it's not going down like that. Tell you that Andy fought the good fight and the sisters let him be. I wish I could tell you that. But prison is no fairy tale world. No. Bro, I'm disgusted. Like that for a while. Prison life consists of routine. And then more routine. Every so often, Andy would show up with fresh bruises. The sisters kept at him. Sometimes he was able to fight him off, sometimes not. That was his routine. Yeah. Nah. Two years were the worst for him. Two years. And I also believe if things had gone on that way, this place would have got the best of him. I'm crashing out. I need a dozen volunteers for a week's work. Special detail cares with it. Special privilege. More than a hundred men volunteered for the job. I promise you, all three of them is dying. Oh. Wallace E. Unger. They gonna put him out there? Ellis. Reading. He put his red. Wouldn't you know it? He and some fellas I know were among the names called. Andrew Dufresne. <laughs> yeah. He got him out that situation. So anyway, this lawyer fella says to me, your brother died a rich man, close to a million bucks. A million oh. bucks? 35,000. That's what he left me. Damn. Holy shit, that's great. That's like one in the sweepstakes. Dumb shit, what do you think the government's gonna do to me? Tax that shit. Some people really got it off. And you nuts. 
Keep your eyes on your mark, man. And then. Oh, what? yeah, yeah. Maybe enough to buy a new car, and then what? Don't get the fucking car. Stupid. And he's a banker. He can finesse. Hey! Do you trust your wife? Oh, that's funny. You're gonna look funnier sucking my dick with no teeth. What I mean is, do you think she'd go behind your back, try to hamstring you? Don't push him off the roof. Because if you do trust her, there's no reason you can't keep that 35000 If you want to keep all that money, give it to your wife. The IRS allows a one-time only gift to your spouse for up to $60,000. Oh, shit. Tax-free? Tax-free. IRS can't touch one cent. But you do need someone to set up the tax-free gift for you, and that'll cost you. I suppose I can set it up for you. That would save you some money. I'd only ask three beers apiece for each of my co-workers. I think a man working outdoors feels more like a man if you can have a bottle of suds. Hey, what the fuck would he looked out for us? What are you, Jimmy, staring at? Back to work! And they ain't talking about me, what fuck? <laughs> I'm included in this shit, I got you, my boy. Three beers. Ah, uh, two. Let's make it two, my boy. But on the second to last day of the job, the convict crew that tarred the plate factory roof in the spring of 40. Got some beer. So Tracy of the hardest screw that ever walked a turn at Shawshank State Prison. Pick up while it's cold, ladies. A colossal prick even managed to sound magnetic. Yeah, he sound like a little bit nice in the you. Look at that 35. Got that 35. That boy happy. And he don't even drink. He back there not even drinking. He spent that break hunkered in the shade. A strange little smile on his face. Watching us drink his beer. Well, yeah, bro. What you doing? Come take a sip with the guys. Want a cold one, Andy? No, thanks. Gave up drinking. Yeah, he is drunk when that shit happened. You could argue he'd done it to curry favor with the guards. Maybe make a few friends among us cons. I think he did it just to feel normal again. Them old boys not gonna be able to mess with him no more after that. You're right for that wood. Oh. And we gonna be kind of friends, are we? Yeah, I guess. Why'd you do it? Damn. You're innocent, right? Just like everybody else here. What are you in for? Murder. Same as you. Innocent. Only guilty man in Shawshank. Yeah. He admit to what he did. Yeah. It's tough. Let's show you the actual maturity of my man Red compared to everybody else. Some of them probably in there really didn't do what they did, but. I bet that's sharp. Where's the canary? How did you know? The boy giving in to the sis. Put his name on the wall. Me? God, I love it. <laughs> Ooh, cheesing in the back. Bro, he ain't got no booty in five, 20 years. What do you want? Rita Hayworth. What? Can you get her? Really? Take a few weeks. Weeks? Well, yeah, Andy. I don't have a stuff down in front of my pants right now, I'm sorry to say. It certainly was. You should have seen his face. Girl, boy, sit down. I'm on one, boy. Something about to happen. Bro, these are just in the pan, bro. I gotta change the rear. I say, fuck off! Somebody gotta die right here. Yeah, no cap. You got something in this hand. Oh! They believe about to do him in now. Damn, bro. Oh! Now, I'm gonna open my fly. And you're gonna swallow what I give you to swallow. Yo. You do that and I'll put all eight inches of the steel in your ear. You should know that sudden serious brain injury causes the victim to bite down hard. You have to pry the victim's jaws open. The crowbar. Where do you get this shit? I read it. Not a read. You ignore your fuck. We're changing. Box didn't put anything in his mouth. What they did do is beat him within an inch of his life. And to spend a month in the infirmary. Yeah. Damn. But word to Andy, when he get out, doing it. He's getting his ass beat. Word to Andy. We about to do him dirty. Gang while they're getting. Yeah. Oh, the yeah, because he fucked with Andy. Yeah. What? Damn. He got me 35000 You ain't did shit for me. Where I'm not going to pull you right back in here. Man. No. What are you crying for now? 
Mm. Did they kill him? The sisters never laid a finger on Andy again, and Boggs never walked again. Oh. To my knowledge, he lived out the rest of his days drinking his food through a straw. No Yo. way. Yo, he beat him until he couldn't walk anymore. Ever. Andy got the fucking guards on his side, Eric. Andy's smart. He played that John right. Get the big dogs on your side. But I don't even think he was doing it for that reason. For real, it just happened to be that way. Bro, I'm telling you. Massimo. Hey, Wood, that is a soapstone. That ain't alabaster either. What are you is that? All right. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, more shit. Petrified. You're going to still keep it. <sighs> I'm going to put right apart. <laughs> Oh, why would he crumble it more in his hand? And by the weekend, it was due back. We had enough rock saved up to keep him busy till rapture. That's, that's uh, yeah, that's what's up. Chewing gum, sipping whiskey, playing cards with naked ladies. That's on, that whiskey he was it. drinking. Rita Hayworth herself. Oh, he got a, he got a poster. That's tough. Ah, well, Andy back. Who was waiting? For that Rita. Shit, that gave me something to work towards. If he really about to break out this show, I'm oh. working for Rita. Welcome back. Ah, Andy. I don't think he's going to break out. I think he might end up dying in the prison. That's what I think. Heads up. Tossing cells. Heads up. Tossing cells. And he got a bunch of shit in his room. Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh. But I prefer, I'm the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. John chapter 8, verse 12. I hear you good with numbers. We're trying to get his bread up. Want to explain this? It's called a rock blanket for shaping and polishing rocks. A little hobby of mine. Some contraband here, but nothing to get that twist over. Can't say I approve of this. Exceptions can be made. He said he good with numbers. numbers. Nice to know. He gonna end up doing business for people in the prison. Damn. Now you gotta watch my back, because if you don't, I'm snitching on everybody. I almost forgot. I hate to deprive you of this. Salvation lies within. That hammer is in there. I think so. That's the only place I could think. Because he had never checked the Bible. Yeah. You enjoy working in the laundry? No, sir, not especially. Well, perhaps we can find something more befitting a man of your education. Accounting? Hey, what the hell my man do? The fucking crown I got. Hey, Jake, where's Brooks? Andy. That shit got that big. It was two years. years. Yeah. yeah. That shit loud as shit. My man walking the books and stuff around. Easy peasy. Japanese. Never heard that. Brooks, how long have you been a librarian? Come here on odd five, and they made me librarian in 19 and 12. Have you ever had an assistant? No, 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 not much to it, really. Well, why me? Why now? I don't know. Wouldn't be nice to have some company down here for a change. That's in. That's the one. Better talk about them numbers down there. Need you to do something for me, baby. I'm Deacons. Thinking about maybe setting up some kind of trust fund for my kids' educations. I see. I just want to volunteer me for shit, right? Why don't we have a seat and talk it over? Oh, because you, I think he's doing this all for free. So they like, you have to pay somebody to do all this stuff. And this is a seclu secluded area, too. And then Andy says, it, Mr. Deacon, you want your sons to go to Harvard or Yale? Because he actually shook Andy's hand. My ass. Shook his hand. Making a few friends, huh, Andy? I wouldn't say friends. I'm a convicted murderer who provides sound financial planning. A wonderful pet to have. How about expanding the library? Get some new books in there. I asked the warden for funds. <laughs> <laughs> Budget stretched thin as it is. Perhaps I could write the state senate and request funds directly from them. Three ways to spend the taxpayers' hard earned when it comes to prisons more walls, more bars, more guards. Still, I'd, I'd like to try with your permission. But you write your letters if it makes you happy. I'll even mail them for you. How's that? Damn. 
The boy got a lot of power. He's getting too much power, though. And, just like Norton said, Handy got no answers. Shit, I got all the time in the world, bitch. Yeah, really. Yeah, really the following April, numbers. Andy did tax returns for half the guards at Shawshank. Year after that, he did them all, including the wardens. The guards on the opposing teams all remembered to bring their W-2s. Damn right, the holster too. See, that's tax deductible. You can write that off. Come on now. Cause that's a W-2. That's for the prison. It's for business. He's allowed to bring red in there and tax me out of the wood shop a month out of the year. And that was fine by me. Just drop that much to do it. Please, bro. Just calm the fuck down. Well, yes, come on. I'm gonna cut his fucking throat. Hey, what? Wait, wait a minute. What's he done to you? And that's what they done. They really piercing him, though. Brooks, look at his neck. He's bleeding. It's the only way they let me stay. Come on, this is crazy. You don't want to do this. Is he oh, he's about to get out. Imagine getting out that old girl. That boy's scared of the outside world. What the hell did you do to set him off anyway? I didn't do nothing. I come in here to say fairly well. Ain't you heard his parole come through? I heard he had you sitting in your pants. Fuck you. Don't you knock it off? That boy's stressed. Just institutionalized. Institutionalized my ass. The man's been in here 50 years, Haywood. This is all he knows. In here, he's an important man. He's an educated man. Outside, he's nothing. But I'm telling you, these walls are funny. First you hate them, then you get used to them. Enough time passes, you get so you depend on them. That's, That's crazy. You gotta think, bro, 50 years? 50 years is crazy, bro. He coming out, he's got iPhones, laptops, cars is different. Cars? Different pace of life. Nigga was back then when they was on horses. Buggy the Arthur Morgan shit. Oh, that's crazy. My man Brooks freaked out. You gotta get a job and shit now. Get like an actual job. You're free. Everybody that and he knows probably Everybody in dead. here, like, people love him in here. He going out into the world. He just a regular old boy walking down the street. Shit crazy. Not even a regular old boy. You're a convict. People looking at you differently. No okay, cap. That boy did 50 years in there. I don't want to be near him. Man, he's shaking his hand. You know how scary that shit is for him? Fresh start, That's Brooks. like you going to prison. It's how he thinking. Like, he was in the crib chilling. Now he going to prison. He going to do something to go back. That's the only thing. Got nowhere to go. Dear fellas. Cars and shit, all the extra. Dave, how fast things move on the outside. Yeah. I saw an automobile once when I was a kid, but... Now, they're everywhere. everywhere. Wow. Yeah, that's gonna be us. Not and now he by himself. Come on, bro. He was never by himself. Bagging groceries at the food way. I don't know it's how to hard work. Groceries. I try to keep up, but my hands hurt most of the time. Make sure you double bag, like the lady says. Understand? Yes, sir. Surely will. I don't think the store manager likes me very much. Mm. Birds. Man, it's your my heart. After work, I go to the park and feed the birds. It's just, uh... I keep thinking Jake might just show up and say hello. Sad, man. I have trouble sleeping at night. I wake up scared. It takes me a while to remember where I am. Boy, sweating in there. Maybe I should get me a gun and, and rob the food way so they'd send me home. I could shoot the Food's manager room. while I was at it. Sort of like a, a bonus. I'm tired of being afraid all the time. I've decided not to stay. Wait, what? I doubt they'll kick up any fuss. Not for an old crook no. like me. No way, bro. No way, bro. Chill, Brooks. Is he carving his name in there? I don't like know. a jail. No. Got trolling, right? That's sad. Well, that's actually. Yeah, that John got me. 
shit fucked up. He should have died in here. That's all this. You tell me, fuck stick, they're all addressed to you. I take it. But they wrote back the books. In response to your repeated inquiries, the state has allocated the enclosed funds for your library project. $200. In addition, the library district has generously You're responded smiling. with a charitable donation of used books and sundries. We now consider the matter closed. Please stop sending us letters. We got them some new books. It only took six years. Six years. Yeah, well, I got really. two letters a week instead of one. Uh, I believe you're crazy enough. Uh, they got a different mood towards them to now too. Yeah. He didn't my taxes. He gonna turn into years. Brooks if he never get out. But shit, he might not want to get out. That's what I'm saying. He the man in here. He told him to cut that shit out, boy, playing music. Like, that's one of the things that I came in. That, that shit came in for him now. That we wanted to play that. What they gonna do to him? He locked him in the bathroom? See, he doing too much. She better play on the loudspeaker. That's how you address the fucking prison. He ain't wipe his ass. That's like this. Okay. <laughs> I'm taking over, y'all. The warden about to be pissed after he did this. He's tripping. He lost all the privileges he didn't got. But that's why everybody in the prison love him now, because he do shit like this. And that guard was just fucking with him too, like. Yeah, you cross me. I'm not jacking you no more. I tell you those voices soared higher and farther than anybody in a great place dares to dream. And for the briefest of moments, every last man at Shawshank felt free. It pissed the warden off something awful. Open the door. I am warning you, Dufresne. Turn that off! Turn that shit off! <laughs> Yo, he's a demon! The cat him about to whoop his ass. This shit more than I asked what I'm about to get. And they got two weeks in the hole for that little stunt. On your feet. I'm not doing your taxes and shit no more. <laughs> two weeks in the hole? Easiest time I ever did. That's right, a week in the hole is like a year. Damn straight. I have Mr. Mozart to keep me company. That's the beauty of music. They can't get that from you. No cab, you heard that? It's like, that's just in, on repeat. I played the main harmonica as a younger man. Lost interest in it though. Didn't make much sense in here. Here's where it makes the most sense. You need it so you don't forget. There are places in the world that aren't made out of stone. That there's something inside that they can't get to, that they, they can't touch. Max. Let me tell you something, my friend. Hope is a dangerous thing. Hope can drive a man insane. It's got no use on the inside. You better get used to that idea. Like Brooks did. Damn, that hit home. The facts, though. Brooks said them 50 years gave up hope, went outside, started tweeting. Rejection. Oh, yeah. Shit, he, they might pass him this time. It says here that you served 30 years of life sentence. 10 years oh, passed. Man. You feel you've been rehabilitated? Oh, yes. Yeah. And I can honestly say I'm a changed man. No danger to society here. God's honest truth. He said the same thing every time. He's saying that to get rejected. Mm -hmm. He don't want to leave either. He ain't that shit at home. Jesus, when you say it like that. You wonder where it went? I ain't even 30 My yet. My man been in there for 10 years now. I mean, Andy. When I talk about child's play. Little parole rejection present. Had to go Friends through one of your competitors. I hope you don't to mind. I wanted to be a surprise. You got him a harmonica? Andy tough. Now I'm the man I, that can get stuff. Come on, Literally. Man. With Milanakis. He seemed more out of it now though. And Ten year anniversary. Milan Monroe. In all of history, she probably had the most clout. 
as a female. The most aura. The most aura. But that boy bats when he was free. Can't even do it. He wrote two letters a week instead of one. The Senate finally clued into the fact they Big couldn't stand. buy him off with just a two hundred dollar check. They expanded it. They voted an annual payment of five hundred dollars just to shut him up. I got here uh, auto repair and soap carving. Trade skills and hobbies goes under educational. Count Monte Crisco. That's Crisco, you dumb shit. Dumbass. Dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that's about? You like it? It's about a prison break. We we'll ought to file that on the educational too. Some of us did our best to pitch in when and where we could. Yo, that shit clean. Brooks. Wow. Into the best prison library in New England. Complete That's tough because remember in the beginning of the movie, he asked what his name was and he was like, he's dead. But then now they put Brooks' name uh -huh. on there. No free ride, but rather a genuine progressive advance in corrections and rehabilitation. We'll take an all right, of bro, creep here. ass boy. These men can learn the value of an honest day's labor at a bare minimum of expense. Of course, Norton failed to mention to the press that bare minimum of expense is a fairly loose term. Really get nothing. And oh my lord, how the money rolled in. This keeps wow, up. Wow, he got them doing business. labor outside the prison and making money. You can underbid any contractor in town, but I've got a family to feed. I need this new highway contract. I don't get it, and I go under. That's a fact. Hi, my miss is made specially for you. What do you think about that? Damn. You better just be sending them out there to work for free to get stuff done. Ned, I wouldn't worry too much about this contract. Seems to me I already got my boys committed elsewhere. And behind every shady deal, behind every dollar earned, that was Andy. That boy could be making two copies to keep for himself. Yeah, make sure that boy Andy don't know. That boy a thief. This is so illegal. Tell them they overstarched my shirts again. They're going to hear about it from me. Very nice, sir. Big charity to do out Portland way. Governor's going to be there. Want the rest of this? Woman can't bake with shit. Giving that boy a pie? You want to break bread with the gang. I already knew it. Got his fingers in a lot of pies from what I hear. Two years and a half. The river of dirty money running through this place. Yeah, but the problem with having all that money is that sooner or later you're going to have to explain where it came from. Well, that's where I come in. The time Norton retires, I'll have made him a millionaire. I know you're good, Andy, but all that paper leaves a trail. It's going to lead to somebody. Sure it is, but not to me. And certainly not to the warden. To the captain? All right, who? Randall Stevens. Who? The silent, silent partner. He's the guilty one, Your Honor. The man with the bank accounts. He's a phantom. Fake person. Yo, he's crazy. He doesn't exist. Except on paper. Think about how many people are doing you this shit. just make a person up. Yeah, sure you can. You can. It's a no, security system number, system fake cards, birth certificate. It's amazing what you can accomplish by mail. If they ever trace any of those accounts, they're gonna wind up chasing a figment of my imagination. On the outside, I was an honest man. Straight as an arrow. I had to come to prison to be a crook. Ah! Go out in the real world, I'm still that crook. Ain't no such thing as halfway. Er. I don't run the scams, right? I just process the profits. But you're not getting none of that, though. Also built that library and used it to help a dozen guys get their high school diploma. Why do you think the warden lets me do all that? More people. Fish. You gotta think we ain't heard this since my man Red. Uh, Ooh. fuck is his name? Andy. Andy came in. Dufresne. What the fuck is this? That was Presley? Literally. Williams came to Shawshank in 1965 on a two year stretch for B&E. That's breaking and entering to you. Come on. So boys, boys a convict? <laughs> hey, come on, old boys. Move it like molasses. Making me look bad. We liked him immediately. He ain't gonna last long. Sounds like you've done time all over New England. Yeah, I've been in and out since I was 13. You named the place. Chances are I've been there. Damn. You don't seem to be a very good thief. Maybe you should try something else. Yeah, well, what the hell you know about it, Capone? What are you in for? I'm innocent. Lawyer, fuck me. Everybody's innocent in here. Don't you know that? 
That boy one of them now. That shit crazy. Himself a young wife and a new baby girl. Whatever it was. Something lit a fire on the got that walk. Just thinking maybe trying for my high school equivalency yeah. here. You helped a couple fellas with that. Yeah, I went on about this. Kind of losers, Tommy. Yeah. I ain't no goddamn loser. Because if we do this, we do it all the way. 100%. Nothing half-assed. Don't read so good. Damn, that's sad. But don't read. R R S S T. So Andy took Tommy under his wing. Baby sees his crazy. <laughs> nah, that man was in the convent, and then I since even thirteen. Before long, Andy started him on his course requirements. He really liked the kid. Find the nouns in that motherfucker, you heard? Yeah, he definitely not gonna want to get out. Some fellas collect stamps. Andy built a library. Yeah. Now he needed a new project. Tommy was it. Get a boy on that answer. What the fuck were those those scantrons? Depends <laughs> for my scantron. I take my test. Be the best. Ah. Damn. Damn. Saying damn like you never failed with tests before. Wow, Yo, I can tell that that boy definitely ain't get. Wasted a little fucking year of my time with this bullshit. It's probably not as bad as you think. Let's see how the score comes out. Yeah, well, I'll tell you how the goddamn score comes out. Two points right there. There's your goddamn score. He did better than he think. Mm hmm For sure. He gonna get it out the trash and still look at it. You gotta see what that boy really got. Fuck what he think he got. Them tests that you thought you failed, you did better than you, you know what I'm saying? Let him down. Oh, that's crap, kid. You drinking coke in there and shit, Proud man? Upgrade. have been friends a long time, so I know him as good as anybody. What's he in here for, anyway? Murder. Thought his wife in bed with some golf pro. Reased them both. I gave, I gave him some respect. Like, damn. What? He did that so, shit. Four years ago, I was in Thomaston on a two to three stretch. You met the boy that About did six it. six months left to go. Get a new cellmate in. Said he pulled hundreds of jobs. Hard to believe how strong as he was. Oh, his roommate probably was the person that did it. Yeah, so he's talking about right now. Uh, too, that's the other thing. He never shut up. Places he been, jobs he pulled, women he fucked. I say to him, I say, yeah, Elmo, who'd you kill? So he says, I got me this job one time, busting tables at a country club. So I pick out this guy, go in one night, and do his place. He was in there when they came. So I killed him. Him and this tasty bitch he was with, and that's the best part. She's fucking this prick, see, this golf pro, but she's married to some hotshot banker. And he's the one they pinned it on. Yo. I have to say, that's the most amazing story I ever heard. It's obvious this fellow Williams is impressed with you. He hears your tale of woe and Quite naturally, wants to change. Yeah, they don't want this whole time I ain't do this shit. But they don't want him to leave because he do all this paperwork. You know that wouldn't matter. With Tommy's testimony, I can get a new trial. Well, that's assuming Latch is even still there. Well, they'd have his last known address, names of relatives. It's a chance, isn't it? You're not even trying. Can you be so obtuse? Son, you're forgetting yourself. The, the country club will have his old time cards. Records, W-2s with his name on them. Frayne, if you want to indulge this fantasy, that's your business. Don't make it mine. If I were to ever get out, I would never mention what goes on in here. I'd be just as indicted. Oh, fuck. Sir, I, I didn't... Solitary, a month. Yes, sir. Hi. What's the matter with you? Get him out of here. Come, it's my chance to get out. Don't you see that? It's my life. Don't you understand? Are you saying that Andy is innocent? I mean, for real innocent? Yeah. That looks that way. How long has he been here now? 1947. What is that? 19 years. 19 years. Damn. They're gonna either kill him or get him out because he can get Andy free. Just as long as he's there, he can go and testify for him at any point. Oh, now he wanted. Right. He didn't even want to send his shit in at first. Come on, we throw that away, please. Oh boy's heart pounding like damn. Well, shit. Boy got his GED. That boy was scared. He was more scared of the possibility of him getting it than not getting it. Kid passed. 
C plus average. Thought you'd like to know. At least the guards are like keeping them updated and shit. Bro, a month in there. This is really gonna fuck him up now because he it's probably wasn't, heart. he wasn't thinking about it at all after it happened because he was just like he said hope. Yeah, bro. But now he got that hope. He about to definitely go crazy. See, the warden wants to talk. You're about to kill that boy. At night. Not here. That's what the man said. Bro, Not they're that, fucking no. crazy. But he didn't do anything, man. It's the only one that can testify. Warden? Tommy? <gasps> He's outside. Look at the firecracker in that bit. Blow his mouth off. We got a situation here. I think you can appreciate that. Yes, sir. I sure can. He seemed like a good dude, though. If I'm going to move on this, there can't be the least little shred of doubt. I have to know if what you told Dufresne was the truth. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Would you be willing to swear before a judge and jury? Just give me that chance. That's what I thought. They're gonna say he was running. Oh! They're gonna say he tried to escape. Bro, these people are fucking evil. And they talking about read the bible and all this other shit that shit just be a ploy for people bro to cover up all the dumb shit evil shit they be doing i'm sure by now you've heard man that young less than a year to go trying to escape broke that man that makes sense we just have to put it behind us move on i'm done it's someone else to run your skills. Nothing stops. Well, you will do the hardest time there is. I'll pull you out of that one bunk, Hilton, and cast you down with the sodomites. You'll think you've been fucked by a train. In the library, sealed off brick by brick. We'll have us a little book barbecue in the yard. You understand me? Catch my drift? Or am I being obtuse? Like, bro, your pride that hurt over being obtuse? Like... You're a dead Fucking boy. Creep ass dude. You don't get no butt when you go home. Another month to think about it. Another month. Oh, that's insane. And this creep ass dude, bro. Get all these men. I hope they all, at the end, go to this prison. Got all them inmates that's still in there. Beat your fucking ass in this. What a bro. Put the worst beats ever on them, bro. A lot of people y'all was in here beating, acting crazy too. Ass beat by all of them. Put him with the sodomites. That's what I was saying. That's what might happen. Put the captain with the sodomites because he was acting crazy with everybody. My wife used to say I'm a hard man to know. Like a closed book. She was beautiful. God, I loved her. I just didn't know how to show it. That's all. Yeah. I killed her. Kill you, I didn't pull the trigger. I drove her away. And that's why she died because of me. Man. Boy, Ray got this slick back. Don't make you a murderer. Bad husband, maybe. You feel bad about it if you want to, but you didn't pull the trigger. Nobody else did. And I wound up in here. The worst look. I'm crashing out. Gotta land on somebody. It was my turn, that's all. I was in the path of the tornado. That's gonna make Rare fuck with him even more, because he's like, bro, he really innocent in here. The storm would last as long. He innocent, and he out here looking out for everybody. I'll ever get out of here. One day, when I got a long white beard and two or three marbles rolling around upstairs, they let me out. I'll tell you where I'd go. It's in Watanil. It's in Mexico. You know how to heal. It's on the Pacific Ocean. They say it has no memory. That's where I want to live the rest of my life. You got that look now. It's time to tweet. Buy some worthless old boat and fix it up new. Take my guests out. Charter fishing. Say what the nail. I mean, Red gonna go there and do exactly what he, uh... Place like that, I could he said a, he wanted to do. He knows how to get things. I don't think I could make it on the outside, Andy. I'm an institutional man now. It's like Brooks was. In here, I'm the guy who can get things for you, sure, but outside, all you need is the yellow pages. I didn't shoot my wife, and I didn't shoot her lover. Whatever mistakes I made, I paid for them, and then some. That hotel, that boat, 
I don't think that's too much to ask. Damn. That's no cap, though. Nah, he's spitting right now. This is a shitty pipe dream. I mean, Mexico is way the hell down there, and you're in here, and that's the way it is. Like, no, don't talk to me like that, boy. I guess it comes down to a simple choice, really. Get busy living, you get busy dying. What's that mean? If you ever get out of here, do me a favor. Sure. There's a big hay field up near Buxton. You know where Buxton is? Sure, his parents is at or something. It's got a long rock wall, a big oak tree at the north end. It's where I asked my wife to marry me. Made love under that oak and I asked and she said yes. Outside? She mean. Nature boy. Promise me, Red. You'll burn that shit down. Find that spot. Base of that wall, you'll find a rock that has no earthly business in a main hay field. There's something buried under it I want you to have. What end? You'll have to pry it up. To see. He about to kill us all? So I think. Or after all that, bro. But this is also gonna give red hope. Like, bro, I gotta figure out what's what's under that tree. Andy come down to the loading dock today. He asked me for a length of rope. Rope? Remember Brooks Hanlon? No. And he never do that. The way he talking right now, I don't Everybody know. Everybody has breaking point. Look, we split. Want to get home? Just about finished, sir. See him? That boy hurting. Cause he about to strangle this man in here. Oh, so you don't need six, to do something. six feet of rope Stuff to, stri to stri uh, strangle someone. Shine my shoes. It's good having you back, Andy. Place wasn't the same without you. Yeah, shut up. I spit on you. Bitch, you put me in there. Lame ass jit. Hey, fuck on to yo. I ain't going on vacation. Putting that motherfucker's shoes on. I'm burning them bitches. Taking piss in them bitches. Nah, he ain't got no soul no more. He got the dead man eyes. I thought he was gonna... Man, I would have broke into that motherfucking room and took that. I need all that shit in that safe. I need all the books. And they can't do nothing. No! Andy, no, bro. You already know, like, damn. I've had some long nights in stir. Time can draw out like a blade. It's raining. The boy done did it. It was the longest night of my life. Yeah, rest in peace, Andy. I don't know yet. He ain't gonna come out. It's over. He ain't come out. Man missing on tier two cell 245. New frame. Get your ass out of here, boy. You hold up the show. You better be sick or dead in there. I shit you not. Damn, boy. Rest in peace, the kid. Oh, my holy God. Oh, boy, broke out? He put his shoes in there. He probably was digging a hole that whole time. He said it would take 600 years to do that shit, though. Yes, bro. But he no rocks. Damn. Fuck I do. That boy really escaped out of the prison. What do you mean he just wasn't here? Don't say that to me, Hay. Don't say that to me again. But, sir, he wasn't. I can see that, Hay. No, sir. What about you? You blind? If he was digging a hole, that big-ass picture. That's what I'm saying, behind the girl. And they never checked behind that. I want him found. Not tomorrow, not after breakfast. Now. Bro, if he got out last night, he's, he's gone. gone. Never <laughs> find that man again. I see you two all the time. You're thick as thieves you are. He must have said something. My boy shook. Look at you the thief. Honoring that money through the shit, man. Let's ask her. Maybe she knows. What say you there, fussy britches? Do you like talking? One big damn conspiracy. <laughs> Doing right through. How big is the hole? For him to fit through? That motherfucker crawled through that motherfucker. Bro, how did he dig the hole and do that in 10 years? It was 19. It was 19. 
Andy Dufresne escaped from Shawshank Prison. Ain't never happened before, boy. Prison break. All they found of him was a muddy set of prison clothes, a bar of soap. I remember thinking it would take a man 600 years to tunnel through the wall with it. 19. Andy did it in less than 20. That's what I'm saying. That shit was thin as shit. That thin ass cell they got. Where the fuck was he putting all the rock? Oh, he was carving all of them. That's why there was no trace of this shit. That has to do with the Bible. That's where he kept this shit. Like I said, in prison, a man will do most anything to keep his mind occupied. Turns out, and his favorite hobby was toting his wall out into the exercise yard. I oh! I guess after Tommy was killed, Andy decided he'd been here just about long enough. Put my man's shoes on. I got the fresh fit. Got the Put the fresh shoes fit on. It's just time out. <gasps> he switched he up and he took their cup. Big cooked. I'm going straight, straight to, to the, the district attorney. DA. Give me shit. And stuff. then you know who he can say he is? He can say he's the Phantom Bull. I'm not Andy you got Dufresne. Security. I'm... You got this social security. Anything <laughs> <laughs> yeah. out. Seriously. Get my man feet on right really there. Look at a man's shoes. Crash clean. I just shiny bitch there. That's why he was telling them like, yo. When you leave, do this for me. Think he's about the office, so Mandom was leaving. Class and that's money. why he was saying, like, I can buy a hotel. away. he had the money stashed away, G. That's why it was this under that tree. I'm gonna leave you some bread, right? Him making all that noise in there. Thunder. I know. Boy, make a move when they're done on, you heard? <laughs> Yo. Use the rope? He went through the. He said nothing but shitty, shitty uh, pipe dreams. Shitty going pipe. through the shitty pipes. Yo! They really did something with this, my boy. Who made this shit? Bro, he got all the information to send all those, every cop from that jail and the other jails to prison. Boy was waiting for it to rain. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You got shit on him. Yo, y'all climbing through shit to go free? Literally, shitty pipe dreams. Oh, that shit smell like booty. How the fuck that boy get a flashlight? I do it. Go to freedom through 500 yards of shit smelling foulness I can't even imagine. Can't even breathe Bro. through your, you breathe through your mouth? Some water might splash in your shit. You eating shit. That's literally drinking shit. Football fields. Five football fields. I can do that. Half a mile. But that's right. an 800 around the track. You're not crawling the 800 right. Yo. Climb through shit to get washed away. Right there. I'm out of here. That boy free. I'm supposed to be free anyway. And now Red is gonna be able to, he gonna know right where he where he is. In Mexico. A man nobody ever laid eyes on before. Got strolled the into the main national bank. Until that moment, he didn't exist. Wait, is he able to take all their money? Driver's license, birth certificate, <gasps> social security card. That's probably what he's going to leave there. And the signature was a spot-on match. I must say, I'm sorry to be losing your business. All that money. Because all that money went into that account. account. <laughs> we robbed them. Would there be anything else? 900. Please. Would you add this to your outgoing mail? All told, he blew town with better than $370,000 of severance pay for 19 years. <gasps> He mailed it to the judge or somebody. Good morning, Portland. To the news. To the Portland news. They're done. <gasps> Murder. They keep when they killed the boy. That's why he's asking for their name. Yeah. The, the boy from the first night. And he gonna try to get rid of that stuff, but he got it. I sent that to the paper. He put the Bible in there. Guilty. The, uh, you were right, salvation, salvation, salvation. What's that, 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 that. Like what the <laughs> fuck? You sound like I play with. <laughs> told you that's where he put the hammer. Yo, okay. he might. Water might kill herself. Yo, he might have to. Your boy. You're arrested, stupid ass. 
And I hear Byron Hadley started sobbing like a little girl when they took him away. You wouldn't? What you mean? I don't even... I don't even, I don't need to process you. I'm gonna take right to, right to sell Turn around, oh, no, turn around no right there. No way. Going back quietly. No way. He a pussy old. Nah, he know what's coming for him. Easy on yourself, sorry. Oh! I like to think the last thing that went through his head. This motherfucker. Other than that bullet. Was to wonder how the hell Andy Dufresne ever got the best of him. I got a postcard in the mail. From that phantom. But the postmark said Fort Hancock, Texas, right on the border. That's where Andy crossed. Andy That's Dufresne, so who crawled through a river of shit and came out clean on the other side. Fresh is so clean, clean. Their feathers are just too bright. All right, Peter Tommy, man. And when they fly away, had a wife and kids. Right, the part Brooks. of you that knows it was a sin to lock them up does rejoice. Damn, this shit hitting. I guess I it just missed my I remember when he first asked, he was like, yeah, I guess we're gonna, I guess we can be friends and all, right? He was like, yeah, I guess. What you better reject him again. Uh, he's not gonna say the same answer. If I'll say you've served 40 years of a life sentence, 40, bro. you feel you've been rehabilitated? Rehabilitated? Change his no, I don't have any idea what that means. Well, it means you're ready to rejoin society. I know what you to... think it means, Sonny. To me, it's just a made-up word. Young fellows like yourself can wear a suit and a tie and have a job. What do you really want to know? There's not a day goes by I don't feel regret. Not because I'm in here, because you think I should. Stupid kid who committed that terrible crime. I want to try to talk some sense to him. Tell him the way things are. That kid's long gone, and this old man is all that's left. I gotta live with that. So you go on and stamp your form, Sonny, and stop wasting my time. I don't give a shit. Fucked him up with that one. Send that boy free. Accept it. Ooh. Now you can go down there and live rent free at the hotel. Come on now. What you mean? Charter fishing. But damn, you leaving the other boys in there. What you mean when they get out? If they yeah, do they get out? They never get out. All this shit brand new. 40 years in that one area, bro. That was 20 more years. Then he, went to the, he went to the same. Yeah, he, he probably gonna get the same room. She gonna say Brooks was here. They do that. That shit crazy. Damn, they did that. Same fucking job. Restroom break, boss. You don't need to ask me every time you need to go take a piss. Just go. Understand? He's so used to asking. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, be understanding. My nigga was in there for 40 years, bro. But nah, he just saying, like, bro, you don't got to ask me every time. Like, I know I'm your boss, years, but... I've been asking permission to piss. No way I'm going to make it on the outside. All I do anymore is think of ways to break my parole. So maybe they'd send me back. All I want is to be back where things make sense. Only one thing stops me. A promise I made to Andy. But that watch. Nah, that was a compass. That boy going to wish him a father. That's what I meant. Bro said watch. Same shit, man. That boy took the trip. That boy got his first paycheck nah, faded. Nah, he went, he went to go, he went to, he went to, uh, look at that rock. That boy gonna leave him some yeah, bread. Tree of life. That rock wall. You hear the harmonica playing? Like, come on, like, lock in. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to lock in, bro. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're not, you're this, not is moment. Hearing, <laughs> this is moment. This is moment. You're not hearing or listening to nothing, bro. I'm really this locked is, in. This is moment. I don't belong. You're gonna have to dig a little bit to pry that thing out. Oh, that's definitely from him. Wait, so did Andy have that planned out, got out, and then did that? Or did he already have it there? I think he already had it there. Make sure nobody around. Was nah, he de he definitely came back and put that there because it's in that little plastic shit. 
You gotta put that bready. No cap. Check your shoulder. Somebody be right over that joint. Yo, who gave that money? If you're reading this, you've gotten out. And if you've come this far, maybe you're willing to come a little further. You remember the name of the town, don't you? Say what the name. I forgot already. I could use a good man to help me get my project on wheels. Come on. I'll keep an eye out for you. And the chessboard ready. Hope is a good thing. Maybe the best of things. And no good thing ever dies. Your friend. Andy. Andy. Come on now. Andy Milanov. Bro, he could have never got out. And I should have just been there. What's a little further, you heard? No cap. I don't got nowhere else to go. Damn. What about this? Red was busy living. Or get busy dying. So it was red. That's cold. I'm guilty of committing a crime. A role violation. Fort Hancock, Texas, please. I'm gonna cross that border right over there. Come on now. Yeah. Excited, I can barely sit still a whole of thought in my head. Oh, I hope Andy's still there. That boy there waiting. He be dead, bro. I hope I can make it across the border. I hope the Pacific is as blue as it has been in my dreams. Boy, ain't seen no water since ever. Got my little bow. I'm ready to get mixed her up. on top. Now nah, you made it. Nah. Like, bro, really finessed and escape prison. I'm Raymond. I'm not Andy. Rest in peace to Alan Green, man. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Rest in peace to that person. 10 out of 10. All right, y'all. That was the end of the Shawshank Redemption. And my boy really did redeem himself, man. It was a great story to follow from start to finish. Throughout the story, you could tell he was giving hope to a lot of people. And before that, I don't think there was a glimpse of hope in that prison until he came. Like, even when he got there, it was just something about him. And Red knew that from the jump. He just didn't know what it was yet. And over time, he found out the type of person Andy really was, which was a great person. You know, it was sad to see that he actually went to prison for that long for a crime he didn't commit. But we really got to put that in perspective. There's people out there that's doing time that didn't do the crime. And, you know, there's probably a story like exactly like this that somebody's living through in prison for andy to john coffee andy to be this strong actually go through with what he was doing this whole time at the prison like even though there was time like yo he started that the day he got that hammer like even though we had the thought in the back of her head you look at it and you see it and it's like yo bro there's no way he could he could do that with when that the type fuck of he had time, time. every oh. every night he went in there he was doing, doing that, that. Every Everything night. Everything that he did throughout the day, no matter what he did, when he went back in that cell, he was getting to work. So that night that he asked for the poster was the prior the night where he was right. I think it was it was the same night he was writing his name and I rock fell. And he was like, yeah, can you get me Rita? And I think that's when, you know, he really started to, you know, go full in with that. So he always, at the end of the day, thought about leaving the place. And he just needed that reason. And Tommy, sadly, was that reason, man. RP Tommy, my man, got a GH, a GED. And then I said, I almost said GHD. <laughs> CrossFit. <laughs> Too much CrossFit. CrossFit, always my name. G G <laughs> GED. <laughs> and it was sad to see that happen to him, man. Yeah, but, uh,. <laughs> Yeah, this was a great story all in all. I'm happy the way that it ended to see my guy Red at Fort finally get some hope um, <laughs> himself and take that chance and believe in Andy and do everything he said and like met him um, in that town. I don't even know how to say, even though they said like 30 times. Sorry to Z and it's in Mexico. Uh, Nah, that wasn't it. <laughs> Sound like that. It's Z I H. Uh, but uh, yeah, like I said, Swiss said that John was a ten out of ten. That John was probably a ten out of ten for me too, man. But you got to think from the plot, how they set that John up, how they like was basically skipping the whole process of him doing the rocks, him shaking the shit out of his jeans, like. Bro really went to work, almost threw him off the edge. Now let me do this for you. Really helping everybody in the Bears, prison. Got the Keeping books. all the tabs. She told him, making a fake person. 
Like, and it all came full circle. Like, he was doing that shit during uh, the P way and PPP. 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 I said PPF. But still, PPP. like, but he was doing it from inside a prison, though. Like, hot. But he, he was it's a very anger. smart, he was a very smart dude, bro. And it was crazy because, like, that one line stuck out to me during the movie. He was like, yeah. He was like, I was a clean guy out in the real world. It took me to come into prison to make me a crook. And it's like, bro, usually it's the opposite way around. I'm a crook outside in the real world. And then when I come to prison, it clean me. Like, all the bullshit. Become like, Muslim. Yeah. Become Muslim. <laughs> become religious. Get your GED. Like, bro, you start to no clean shit. yourself up in prison. But, like, it was the opposite way around for him, man. And so. they started to move you off of my man's with the gap. Really thought, I'm like, nah, the way he moving, he might have. But then that shows you, too, how judgmental he is, like. Cause like how he talk, how he don't really show no emotions and shit that he had to do it, but it's like he didn't do that's it. That's just how he is, you know what I'm saying? And then it's like it sucks that he got like the short end to stick with the whole thing, and then finding out that the person that actually did it was sold with Tommy, but then they end up killing Tommy, so he couldn't testify, so, so they can keep, keep him, him at in the there. Prison, to do numbers, that shit bro. is crazy how they be doing that, but I wish they would have got Kamala the Harris. But yeah, the warden needed to, to do time for that, bro. Like he was in, he knew everything that was going on in, in the prison. Let it, let it fly. Those murders he conducted in the murders, and then started damn near a whole business off of the prisoners for them just to do work for free for anybody, and he was getting paid for the shit. So this is highly requested. Like I said, I watched like the first maybe thirty minutes of it. In high school, I didn't remember anything seeing it. All I know is that boy went to jail. Him and uh Morgan, I was about to say Denzel. Him and that boy Morgan. Nah, I was, when I seen him, I was like, Denzel. <laughs> but nah, them two were working together, um, or just like became friends. That's all I remember from it. We would have like to like a week to watch this shit. Sociology again, shout out Miss Wyman, man, smartest teacher I ever had. Literally classified as a genius, my boy. Cause he was saying Mexico's the whole way down there, and I'm up here. That was like him crawling through the sh the sh literally the shit and coming out and getting bathed. That was like him being like clean, being cleansed from the shit that he was doing. You know what I mean? So basically throughout the whole movie, Red and them were shitting on like his dreams of putting it down and saying like not to have hope or that like he like he was saying towards the end, like your dream is just like it's a shitty pipe dream and he ended up climbing through the shitty pipes to get to his dream. Like, come on, bro, that shit crazy. So and him being the person that he was throughout the whole movie kind of made you feel for him more too. Cause like, like I was saying, like for certain instances, like the first two years, the stuff that he went through, a lot of people would have- Creep ass boy. Would have crashed out, it would have killed somebody or um, would have just like completely said, fuck what's going on in the outside world. What I want, like, I got to control what's in here. And you know what I mean? That sometimes leads to people hurting people, but he like stayed neutral and to like stay himself the whole time you know what i mean like he kept that faith in what he believed in he helped literally as much people as he could around him help people get their geds like even they put the brooks drawn like the libraries as the brooks because brooks was the one that was running the library you know what i mean and like the whole scene with brooks that john hurt nobody cares who you are you don't talk to people like you don't know what's going on with technology even with the car situation he like I saw a few cars on the road, but now there's cars kids, everywhere. everywhere. Not Buses everywhere, street. trains, you know what I mean? Um, so it's just Photos, that. Just the, cell phones. Yeah, like, especially like yeah. nowadays. Like, come on, bro. How in the last 15 years alone? Like if you went in. If you went in 1990 and came out now, how different shit is? If bro? you went in 2000, like 2005, 2010. And still came out now. You like, yo, what the fuck? I uh, love this film, man. If you enjoyed the reaction, make sure you video, comment down below. So your thoughts and subscribe on the bell. I see that if I just videos, Patreon as well. We love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for all the support. We just hit 18,000 on YouTube too, man. So thank y'all. 20k on the way. So let's hit 25k by the end of the year, y'all. To the next video. The kids react.